Today we're going to put all of our education together regarding medical terminology. And medical terminology, of course, is going to be broken down into prefixes, combining forms or word roots, and suffixes. We call these the elements of the term. And again, these elements are going to either be prefixes, suffixes, or combining form. And the elements are going to help us make a word out of adding them together or help us break a term down to make a quick and easy definition. So our elements, again, are the prefixes, suffixes, and word roots at the beginning. Okay. Word roots are typically going to be in the middle. And then suffixes are going to be at the end. So... Let's take a term like abdominal. Okay. For example, the abdominal region is divided into four quadrants. Okay, if this is our abdominal region it's divided into four quadrants. The right upper quadrant, the right lower quadrant, left upper quadrant, and left lower quadrant. Okay. These quadrants allow us to identify the organs of digestion that are located in that particular area. But if we break the term abdominal down, we can break it down into its combining form. Abdomino, which means abdomen, and then a suffix, al, which means pertaining to. There are many different suffixes which mean pertaining to. I see, al, O-U-S, those are all uh, suffixes which mean pertaining to. Let's take another term, adeno. Adeno is a combining form that means gland. Add the, add the suffix al to it, pertaining to, and we get adenal, pertaining to a gland, adenal gland. Antero. Antero means front. Okay, if we add I-O-R, another combining form that means pertaining to, we get anterior. Anterior, which means the front of a structure. Arterio. Arterio is going to mean artery. Whoops. Arteriole would be pertaining to an artery. Okay. Audio. Audio. That means hearing. Let's add a suffix like logi to that. 
logi is a suffix that means the study of. So audiology would be the study of hearing. Audio, hearing, logi, the study of, the study of hearing. Bio. Bio means Whoops. A biologist uses the suffix logist for one who specializes. One who specializes in life. Bio means life. Logist mean one who means one who specializes. So one who specializes in life. So a biologist is somebody who specializes in the study of life. Brachy. Okay, brachio. Brachio means arm. For example, the brachial artery is the artery that you are constricting when you put a blood pressure cuff around somebody's upper arm to measure their blood pressure. The brachial artery. Brachio, arm, A-L, pertaining to. Brachial, pertaining to the arm. Bronchi, or bronco. Both of those mean bronchus. Those are the tubes in your respiratory system that ultimately are going to take atmospheric air and make sure that it gets routed to the lung tissue where we can extract oxygen. So bronco is going to be the combining form for bronchi, uh, for the bronchus, and bronchial is pertaining to the bronchial. If somebody has bronchial pneumonia, for example, okay, pathophysiology term, bronchial pneumonia would be pneumonia pertaining to the bronchus. Carcino. Carcino means cancer. The suffix gen means to produce. So a carcinogen produces cancer. A carcinogen produces cancer. Substances in cigarette smoke are known carcinogens. They are known to produce cancer. Cardio. Cardio means heart. Cardiology, adding the suffix logi to cardio, would be the study of the heart. Cardiology is the study of the heart. Let's take a term and go the opposite direction. Let's deconstruct a term. Okay, ostomy. The suffix ostomy. Ostomy is a suffix to make an opening. Colo is a combining form that means colon, the last part of your intestines. So a colostomy would be to make an opening in the colon. People that have colon cancer may have to have an opening made in their colon 
and that opening may lead to the outside where a small bag is attached to the opening so fecal material can move into that bag rather than being stored in the last segment of the colon which is the rectum so colo means colon ostomy is to make an opening so we've deconstructed this term colostomy site or cyto cyto means cell there may be a department in a hospital called cytology the cytology department would study cells cytology dermo whoops dermato both of these combining forms mean skin so a dermatologist we use the combining form dermato a dermatologist is one who specializes in the skin dermatologist again to break this down we know dermato means skin the suffix logist one who specializes okay. so one who specializes in the skin a dermatologist Dorso. Dorso means back. Jaws has a dorsal fin pertaining to the back. A large fin on his back. So if you're swimming off the coast a little bit, you know to get out of the water and get to safety. Dorsal pertaining to the back. Dorso is the combining form that means back. Encephalo. That means brain. If we add a new suffix, gram, gram is the image. So an encephalogram. An encephalogram would be the image of the brain. A special test to give us the image of the brain. Encephalogram. Gastro. Gastro means stomach. Gastro means stomach. A very common suffix, itis, I-T-I-S, means inflammation. So gastritis, gastritis would be inflammation of the stomach. Inflammation of the stomach, gastritis. Gynaco. Gynaco means female. The suffix logi is the study of. So gynecology would be the study of the female. And typically when we see this term, we automatically know we're meaning the study of the female reproductive anatomy and its physiology. But gynecology if we didn't know the term but we could break it down would be female the study of the study of the female and that would give us again a good 
basic definition to help clue us in as to what the other material around it was actually meaning. Hemato. Well, hemo and hemato both mean blood. The suffix oma means tumor. Oma means tumor. Hematoma, hematoma would mean a blood tumor. If I happen to get a bruise, the medical term for a bruise is a hematoma, an accumulation of blood in a confined area due to the breaking of small blood vessels. So a hematoma literally means a blood tumor. Okay, a blood tumor. Histo. Histo means tissue. Histology. Histology would be the study of tissues. Okay, we have four basic tissues that make up the human body. Connective tissue, epithelial tissue, muscle tissue, and nervous tissue. Connective tissue are ligaments, tendons, bone. We also have blood as a connective tissue. So those are some of the main connective tissues. Then we have epithelial tissue. It lines cavities or it covers the body. Our skin, for example, that's epithelial tissue. The opening to our nasal membranes and to our oral cavity, that's also epithelial tissue. Muscle tissue contracts. We can make a muscle and our muscles are going to cause movement. So muscle tissue can cause movement. And then we have nervous tissue which conducts electrical impulses and allows our body to communicate. Communicate what's going on with the internal environment and the external environment. But histology is the study of tissues. Intestino. Intestino means intestine. If somebody has an intestinal infection, If somebody has an intestinal infection, okay, the intestinal infection is pertaining to their intestines, located within the intestines, in other words. Lapero. Lapero means abdomen. Okay, abdomino meant abdomen, lapero meant abdomen. You'll often hear this term associated with the suffix scopi. Okay, scopi means to view or observe. So, lapero, abdomen, scopi is to view. So, to view the abdomen. Okay. To view the abdomen. Laparoscopy would be to view the abdomen. Lympho. Okay. Lympho means lymph vessels. We have two sets of vessels in our system. 
the vessels of the cardiovascular system and the vessels of the lymphatic system. The lymphatic vessels are going to transport large molecules that are too big to be transported by the vessels of the cardiovascular system, large proteins, uh, large fat molecules. Those can all be transported by the vessels of the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system vessels are also going to help clean our interstitial fluid, the fluid that constantly bathes all of our cells. All of our cells are surrounded by a liquid environment and that fluid is called interstitial fluid and that interstitial fluid could potentially harbor pathogens. Pathogens of course are going to be outside invaders like bacteria or viruses or fungi and they could potentially do us harm but the vessels of the lymphatic system are going to help to clean that lymph fluid. Now, this is a suffix that means cell. We also had site as a combining form. So we had cyto as a combining form that meant cell. We also have a suffix site that means cells as well. So a lymphocyte would be a cell in the lymph vessels, a cell in the lymph vessels. In this case, it's a special white blood cell that helps ward off foreign invaders, pathogens. So a lymphocyte would be a cell in the vessels of the lymph system. Myo means muscle. Okay, myo means muscle. A myocyte, we know site is a suffix that means cell. Myo means muscle, so this would be a muscle cell. A myocyte is a muscle cell. Neuro. Neuro means nerve. Okay. Neurology would be the study of nerves. Neurology would be the study of nerves. A neurologist would be the one who specializes in nerves. So, neuro is a combining form that means nerve. Oculo. Oculo means eye. Ocular, the suffix AR, is another suffix that means pertaining to. So the ocular might be the eyepiece that you look down into if you're using a microscope to look at very, very small structures. Oculo means eye, AR means pertaining to. Ophthalmo also means eye. Ophthalmo means eye. So an ophthalmologist, an ophthalmologist would be one who specializes in the eye. Ophthalmologist with the combining form ophthalmo that means eye. Opto also means eye. Opto also means eye. So we have oculo, ophthalmo, and opto all meaning eye. The optic nerve would be the nerve pertaining to the eye that allows us to pick up information in the form of visual data that our brain interprets. So optic would be pertaining to the eye. So the optic nerve would be pertaining to the eye. The nerve pertaining to the eye. Oro. Oro means mouth. If you have an oral test, the suffix al means pertaining to, 
So, pertaining to the mouth. A test that's given by mouth. It's going to be spoken out loud. So, oro means mouth. Oto. Oto means ear. Okay, oto means ear. If we take oto and then add scope, the suffix scope, this suffix scope means instrument to view. instrument to view. An otoscope is an instrument to view the ear. An instrument to view the ear. Patho. Patho. Patho means disease. Pathology would be the study of disease. A pathologist would be one who specializes in disease. There may be a physician at a hospital that's a pathologist that specifically studies how diseases happen. What's the underlying cause? What other organs does it affect? How it's best treated? Pathologist with the combining form patho, meaning disease. Pharmaco. Pharmaco means drug. Pharmaco means drug. Pharmacology then would be the study of drugs. Pharmacology, the study of drugs, with pharmaco as the combining form. Pulmono. Pulmono means lungs. Pulmonology would be the study of the lungs. Pulmonology would be the study of the lungs with pulmono as the combining form at its base. Okay. Pulmonology with the combining form pulmonology. Pulmono. Pulmono. Septo. Septo means infection. If somebody is septic, again, ick is a, per, is a suffix that means pertaining to. Septic would be pertaining to infection. If Carrie Bernard is said to be septic, he would have an infection. Septic, again, would be pertaining to infection with septo as the combining form. And septo itself means infection. Thorico. Thorico means chest. Thorico means chest. Thoracic, the suffix IC, would be, would be pertaining to the chest. A thoracic surgeon is going to be a surgeon performing surgeries pertaining to the chest. Thoracic. Thorico means chest. The combining form thorico means chest. Thyro. Thyro means thyroid, pertaining to the thyroid gland of the neck that secretes T3 hormone and T4 hormone that regulate our metabolism. If somebody has thyroiditis, they have inflammation of their thyroid gland. Thyroiditis, inflammation of the thyroid gland with thyro as the combining form. Thyro, thyro, thyro means thyroid gland. Trachea. Trachea means trachea. Trachea is our windpipe. OK, 
Okay, trachea is our windpipe. It takes air from our oral cavity and our nasal cavity and routes it down toward our thoracic cavity where the trachea splits into the right and left bronchus. Okay, so tracheo, tracheo. If we take tracheotomy, otomy is a suffix that means to cut into. Otomy is a suffix that means to cut into. So a tracheotomy is to cut into the trachea so somebody can breathe. A tracheotomy is to cut into the trachea so somebody can breathe. With the suffix otomy, O-T-O-M-Y, which means to cut into as the suffix, and tracheo as the combining form, tracheotomy to cut into the trachea. Trico, T-R-I-C-H-O. Trico means hair. Okay, trichology would be the study of hair. Okay, trico though is a combining form that means hair. Trico means hair. Ventro. Ventro means front. Ventral, V-E-N-T-R-A-L. A-L again is a suffix that means pertaining to, so pertaining to the front. Ventral. Viscero. Viscero is a combining form that means internal organs. So the organs inside our body, like our heart, our lungs, our stomach, our intestines, those are all considered visceral organs. Visceral. Visceral with A-L as the suffix. Viscero as the combining form that means internal organs. Visceral, pertaining to the internal organs. Now, we've made a lot of terms with uh, this list of combining forms, but we can also make a lot of additional terms with a very few added prefixes and suffixes. For example, a suffix O-S-I-S -S, means abnormal condition. Abnormal condition. Okay, the suffix O-S-I-S -S, added at the end of a word means abnormal condition. A prefix that we could add at the beginning, A or an, means no, not, or without. So if you see A or A-N at the beginning of a term, you know that it means no or not or without. Okay, No or not or without. A or A-N. The prefix is micro, meaning small. Macro, meaning large. Those prefixes can change... Uh, the meaning of a term. Microscope is an instrument used to view things that are small. Okay, There's really no such thing as a macroscope, but if there was, it would be an instrument used to view large things. The suffix megaly. Megaly is a suffix that means enlargement. Cardiomegaly would be the enlargement of the heart. So, megaly is a suffix that means enlargement. Graphy. Graphy is a suffix that means recording or image. Graphy. 
Graham is a suffix that means the image. So graphy is going to mean a recording or image, and Graham is going to be a suffix which means the actual image. Okay. So if we take these combining forms that we've talked about, add a few prefixes or suffixes, you can see we can add uh, you know, definitions to terms that we might encounter on a regular basis in medical terminology or anatomy and physiology and greatly improve our understanding of these terms and be able to make quick decisions about what it is we're looking at. We may not know the full extent of the definition, but nevertheless, it gives us a good idea of the information contained within that term.